Hello there. The movie that topped the box office this weekend is no surprise. Deadpool 2 brought in the big money. Number 16 on the list is a documentary that took in just $480,000, but its star has already earned a place in history. The title of the film, Pope Francis, A Man of His Word. In a divided world, saber escuchar. Las diferencias nos dan miedo porque nos hacen crecer. One leader has a mission. No es de boletza lo tener es. Es fortaleza. To bring us together. Now, some are saying the Pope is using his role as spiritual father to challenge the world's one billion Catholics towards more tolerance and acceptance of all people. The church considers homosexual activity to be a sin, but that's an activity. So all persons, especially if you're in grace, you are already on the way to sainthood. And Juan Carlos Cruz, in fact, this was part of the discussion. He is a Christian. He's a practicing Catholic. And yet some people have made fun of him for that because of his experience with homosexuality. And so the Pope was reaffirming him as a Christian. And this is important and this is news that the Pope himself is exercising his spiritual fatherhood by telling a man who's struggling with certain tendencies that you are called to holiness and that God really loves you. Now, Steve Acunto is the Chancellor of Consular Core College. He's also an expert on the Catholic Church, and he joins us now. The Pope was quoted as saying, God made you like that and loves you like that. Do you think the Pope's statement gives hope to the LGBTQI community for a more inclusive Catholic Church? Well, thank you, Charles, but it, it might. But actually, it's uh, nothing new. Uh, the Catholic doctrine teaches that you love the, well, in this case, I'm not saying it's a sin, what he's talked about, but I'm saying that the church doctrine holds you love the sinner, but not the sin. Uh, there are many, many precedents for it. In embracing this man, the Pope is following what's been precedential for, for centuries. You love the sinner, or in this case, you love the individual uh, in question, but not what you might construe his acts to be. The question is, what impact is the Pope's statement likely to have? I mean, do you think all Catholics will shift opinions with the Pope on being more inclusive to LGBTQI Catholics? Uh, that's, a, that's a good question. What the Pope, the teaching the, in this instance is not a, uh, a pastoral message as much as it is a reminder that we embrace, for example, we embrace individuals who are accused of murder. The church says, have mercy on them. And the church says, love the sinner, but not the sin. They could take that as a motive. It could be a motive to say, well, okay, there is hope for the acceptance of the gay community as such. But I think the message is much broader. Uh, no matter what the, uh, what the sin or transgression or, d d or, or difference is. I think difference is the best word to use here. Let's talk about the other grave issue that's drawing considerable attention to the Catholic Church. The Pope recently accused Chilean bishops of grave negligence. Consequently, all 34 bishops resigned. Are the resignations enough to address sexual abuse allegations in Chile? Well, it, it is a bit evasive. On the other hand, you know, the history of the Catholic Church is a history marked by, um, well, the, the entire world of Protestantism is what? It's uh, schismatic ver with respect to certain papal actions. In this case, you look at it in a broad, again, a broad context. These bishops uh, may, be, may be trying to limit their liability or the exposure of their, uh, their, 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 their temporal flocks, uh, uh, wealth, their churches, their properties. Uh, the move, I, I don't think, augurs an evasion of responsibility, but I do think it augurs a, 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 a border which says, well, we're innocent 
till proven guilty. There's church law and there's civil law, and that, that border has to be uh, established in this case. There is a sense, though, that the resignations were more strategic than genuine, were they? Well, it, they appeared, again, I can't judge another man's motive readily, but it does appear, since it was concerted, it would appear to be strategic. Okay, Steve Akunto, Chancellor of Consular Corps College, thank you very much indeed.